Hello, this is Ronnie. I'm back here with a clip taken from a long video that I just finished to record for my subscribers. I'm leaving the option for my services at 50% off for the first year open and I'll be providing further details after the clip ends. So if you're interested, please stay on. I'll be talking to you again at the end of the uh, clip. I would like you also to read carefully the disclaimer that I'm going to put up now so that uh, it is clear to you before you uh, go ahead and watch the video. This is uh, just a standard thing. This is uh, the chart of gold priced in US dollars. That's the far scale spot gold. I don't think the up move is over. We can debate about the uh, internal subdivisions here, but uh, I don't think that the entire move is over. There's several reasons why I think so. And I'm only talking about the first leg, yes, of the one, two, three, four, five in red. Um, that looks okay as one, that looks okay as two. Uh, this is a bit of a uh, question mark because of what I see in silver. Silver has a rather clear uh, fourth wave in process there. And I'm just wondering if gold is uh, uh, giving us a running up correction in this sense. Because uh, saying that the fourth wave actually ended here doesn't look very good uh, because of the time scale. You see, the second wave took quite uh, quite a bit longer. Um, it's not impossible sometimes to see um, to see a fourth wave that is a bit shorter or equal to the second wave, uh, but it's it's not something that I would like to run with as a uh, as a wave count at this point. So I'm just wondering if the fourth wave is going to take a, a twist like that. Yes, a twist like that, meaning that what we have seen here uh, is actually part of the fourth wave. It's a running up correction. And uh, instead of having it uh, slanting down here, we would have something like that. Do you see? Oh, whether the third wave might have ended here. You see where I'm going with this idea? Uh, we are still in the upward uh, channel here. Yes, yeah, slanting uh, upwards here. Uh, so I, I don't see an issue. I think that there is going to be further move up and uh, gold has uh, has the displayed incredible strength here. We are hitting we're hitting some resistance levels. No market going up in a straight line. We are on the other side of this channel. Uh, there is a possible shortcoming. If I'm reading it right, towards 1820. I think by the time it reaches, if it does reach within the current up move, if it does reach 1840, there's almost certainly going to be a pause. Uh, it's going to hit the 200 moving average right here. Do you see that's the 200 moving average on the daily? We have uh, resistance of the apex of the fourth wave, which is often associated with quite uh, an important technical level and uh, I would say if it does reach this zone at around 1820, 1840 roughly here you should uh, prepare for a reversal. I'm not talking about that. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm talking about that. Okay, I'm talking about a possible setback um, under 1780 uh, going back potentially to 1760 and I do think it's going to come back. I don't know how fast it's going to come back, but that's my impression. I think it's going to come back and I think we're going to get that. Okay. Um, anything is possible. It could uh, go into big extended fifth. It might jump above 1880 and sit here and that will be hugely bullish. If you get anything like that. Uh, but don't be discouraged if you're a bull. 
uh, if it goes down, it goes to this zone of resistance, 1820, 1840, and you get this setback, uh, not all is lost, it's just normal price action. Yeah, moving averages take their time to turn around, but the market is acting well. So uh, let's stick with the bull right now. Now here's the chart of silver, and silver has rather convincing uh, pattern here, the way I see it. Uh, that we have actually uh, seen a 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, and we're looking for the fifth. Now we had a huge third wave right here in the middle, the heart of the 3 of 3. Uh, that was very convincing uh, bullish price action. But as you can see, I don't think it's finished. So um, I'm comfortable with projecting a rally above 2052. Yes, I don't know how far it's going to go. First resistance comes at 21. As you can see, 21, but there is more substantial resistance at 2140 uh, right here. Uh, I'm going to jump to the 4 hour scale. And there is a comeback, pretty obviously. Yes, there is a comeback in silver. And uh, coming up towards uh, 2140, roughly here, there is a tough, tough resistance at 22. Uh, we are going towards that zone and suddenly it reverses and it gives you something like that. Uh, don't be discouraged. That's again normal price action. It's um, it's going for delivering the fifth wave and it's going to come back and in my opinion going to rest on 1970 area around here. At most it's going to get knocked down uh, down here but uh, I do expect it to come back. Okay so uh, this is uh, looking good. As far as I can see, there is uh, there is a uh, reason to be optimistic at this point concerning the precious metals. Here we go. That does look like uh, an ABC complete, and you can see what's going on. That's the 50 moving average on the daily. It used to be support, support, resistance. It does have a say, resistance, resistance, resistance. Do you see? And right now, what does it do? It's resistance. Now, I think that silver is up to the task of jumping above and coming back, testing it from the top uh, as possible support, turning, turning the 50 moving average from resistance into support. And if that takes two weeks, two or three weeks to turn around for the 50 moving average, and for the 2110 uh, turnaround, um, that's excellent news. They'll be supportive of the next huge move uh, in silver. My website, the homepage, is right here. It's uh, Wave Mastery, www at wavemastery.com. Yeah, point uh, Wave Mastery in one word, dot com. That takes you to the homepage. You can uh, scroll down, look through some things that I've written here, some recommendations from past users and current users. And that is essentially the offer currently open uh, only to first time subscribers, okay? So there is the daily service, uh, daily videos that are preceded by trial. So you can take the trial for uh, one week. And at the end of that, if you're happy, you do nothing, you go on to the plan of um, half price, essentially 79 presents half price of the normal price, and that will be good for one year. That means uh, 12 um, payments of 79. Uh, if you want to watch just the weekend videos, then you go for this one, and uh, it does give you access to um, the weekend videos, and uh, I often also insert a video as a bonus uh, midweek just to keep you on track to see a little bit uh, you know where things are moving because sometimes one week of full price action is a lot and the wave count can change especially if you're a short-term trader uh, you really want to know uh, what's happening so that is essentially the situation if you decide to go for example for the daily videos you uh, click here it takes you to the page where it explains to you you should read that it explains to you what um, what is covered etc etc if you like what you read, you click here, subscribe. It takes you to uh, PayPal. 
because uh, my uh, paying system is through PayPal and um, you pay through PayPal you can see you have the trial at 9.99 that's uh, for the first seven days as I said if you like what you see do nothing it just it just goes automatically if you don't like you can cancel or if you don't know how to cancel or you have any doubt you have any question you can write to me of course uh, once you go through and you pay you come back uh, PayPal will send you back to my website uh, to um, fill in your um, profile details, uh, choose your login, and uh, once you do that, you will be led uh, automatically to the page with uh, with the links to the various videos classified by date. If at any point in time in this process you have a problems, things are not going uh, as I'm describing to you right now. All you have to do is just contact me and I'll help you out. Um, that is essentially it. So um, you have one week to look at things. I would like to just spend a minute uh, about the website itself. I have written here a few articles. Uh, is this website for me? You can go through that one. Psychology and trading, trading and the arts, why join? Yes, each of these articles uh, could uh, perhaps uh, help you to, to see um, how to relate to my website but there's no substitute in my opinion to actually take a trial you know you take a trial and I want to say another thing you take a trial and you can't make up your mind you want more time to think fine I understand that then you cancel but then you're not allowed to take another trial please I want to be very clear about that there are people who abuse this and it's really um, not right uh, you're not allowed to take more than one trial okay a trial is a trial but if you're interested after you take a trial you're interested to come back you can still benefit from the low price for the next full year but you have to write to me and then I will send you a special link without a trial and, and, and if you join then you're going to go immediately onto the reduced price plan for 12 months okay uh, if you take another trial after you took already one I am going to have to cancel that and refund you and if you do that two or three times I'm just going to blacklist you because there are people who have been doing it and I'm afraid this is really absolutely not right. Um, this is subscribe here, uh, use subscription. Once you, are, uh, once you are logged in you will see this one highlighting you uh, uh, daily service videos or weekend service videos. Yeah, It will show which one you really um, um, have the right to, to access the daily service videos to be very clear they cover the weekend service videos okay so you don't have to subscribe to both the daily covers everything I do the weekend of course is more selective now I have here resources there are chart galleries right here uh, chart one two three there are plenty plenty of chart, uh, charts here that give you uh, an idea how I go about uh, uh, subdividing uh, various uh, market action here there I covered a lot a lot of markets and you can see there is history here that could be very interesting for you to just go through let's see platinum for example yes that's 1973 to 1978 if you click right on top where it shows you the hand the chart opens up big you can print it if you like um, here is an example of platinum April um, uh, 1980 uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then the huge correction that followed after that. Uh, so they, there is plenty for you, whichever market you're interested. Uh, interested in the financials, the commodities, precious metals, etc. Uh, okay, so that chart galleries, then useful links, as it as the name implies. Yes, recommended reading list. You have uh, a long list of uh, books here that I've read over the years. That I found very interesting. Of course, I have many more books that uh, I would like to add. It's just a question of time. I don't always have time to update this one. But the books that you find here uh, did help me in the beginning, and still, uh, the information here is very valuable in these books. For example, Crawl. I don't know how many of you heard about Stanley Crawl. Stanley Crawl was um, a really imaginative fellow trader uh, that wrote. Um, wrote very well about his own trading and in trading in general. I learned a lot from uh, from these books. 
And of course, uh, if you haven't heard about uh, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator, you should uh, get this book and read it. Uh, you will not regret. Uh, this is uh, uh, a book that um, most traders, I think, uh, have come across and read. It is very, very interesting. And uh, as you go down the list, you will see there are things that are of interest to you. Uh, of course, uh, go ahead, get them. Some of them are in, even available online for free as a PDF. Uh, check that. Uh, if you have questions about that, you can even uh, contact me. Here's the contact us and you uh, put your name. Please make sure you give me the right email address. Message, simple maths, submit, I get it. You'll hear from me. I'm based in Belgium. So if you write to me from Australia or from the US and I'm having uh, my rest, do not be surprised if I don't react quickly, okay? Uh, normally within, uh, within a day you will have a reply from me. I, I check my email uh, uh, fairly regularly. So that's about it. Hope to see you visiting my website. Hope to see you taking a trial. Um, if you have any questions, again, don't hesitate. Get in touch with me and uh, wishing you great trading week. Bye now.